Hi everyone, today we're going to discuss housing in New York City. So I think the easiest way to move to New York is to first secure a job that's based out of New York City. I say this because when you go and apply for apartments, landlords will ask for your proof of income, which is basically your job offer letter that states your annual salary. So if you don't have a job lined up, it can be pretty difficult to go through the application process for an apartment. In addition to proof of income, landlords may ask for your previous bank statements as well as your credit card score. In New York, there is a widely known rule called the 40 times rent rule, which states that if you are applying for an apartment, your annual salary must be at least 40 times your monthly rent in order to be considered for the apartment. So let's say I'm looking to rent a studio that's 2000 per month then I will need to be making at least 80000 per year. Next, you may be wondering where to look for an apartment and or roommates. If you already have your roommates decided and are just looking for an apartment, you can go on streeteasy.com. Now, if you are looking for roommates and an apartment, I highly recommend using Facebook groups. On Facebook, there are multiple housing groups, um, roommate groups, as well as uh, subleasing groups that you can use to find um, either permanent or temporary housing. Also, just some general advice for using Facebook um, to find potential roommates and an apartment. Do not send anyone any money before you have signed anything in paper. Um, and also, if you're looking for roommates, make sure to video call your potential roommates and ask them detailed questions um, to make sure that you guys can be compatible roommates before signing a one-year lease and moving in together. Most people moving to New York will have roommates for at least the first few years. And I think it's so crucial to find compatible roommates that have similar lifestyles as well as shared values because it can really make or break your living experience. I think everyone's experience with housing may be a little bit different, so I'll just share my personal experience with how I found my current roommates and apartment. Um, I used Facebook groups to find my current roommate and apartment. I came across their post that they were looking for a third roommate to fill the smallest room. And after video calling and going back and forth, we decided to live together. Um, at the time, we did split a uh, refundable security deposit based on our portion of the rent. Uh, my rent at the time was $900, and then um, the rent for the whole apartment was $3,600. And then we also split a broker's fee that was equal to one month's rent that was uh, non-refundable. Our building is a walk-up, which means that there are no elevators. It is a pre-war building, meaning that it was built before World War II. Um, so typically pre-war buildings usually have higher ceilings, maybe thicker walls um, and bigger living spaces as well as larger closets. So with pre-war buildings in our apartment, there is no central AC nor is there central heating. Um, for AC, you can install individual um, AC units outside your window. And then for heating, in the winter, it's controlled by the building where your heat comes from a, a steam radiator that's found in each room. The apartment is rent stabilized, meaning that every year the rent can only increase up to a specific percentage. For laundry, we do not have functioning in building laundry, meaning that we just go um, to a laundromat nearby to do our laundry. And there is no gym in the building, but there are a lot of gyms in our neighborhood. I think the biggest pro of our apartment is the location. Um, it's convenience to a lot of grocery stores as well as the subway stations. Overall, some of the most important things to keep in mind when you look for an apartment is um, number one for me, it was safety. And then two was my commute to work. Um, currently, my job is remote, but occasionally I do go into the office. So if you have more than, let's say, a 40 minute to an hour commute one way, I think that will be too much. Um, so you want to live preferably in an apartment right by a subway station 
and then also um, proximity to grocery stores as well as the gym. And if you have specific questions that I haven't covered in this video, please leave a comment below or feel free to send me a message on Instagram.